This is an informational dead by dead video commentating everything while it's happening in my DBD games. I hope you learned something from this. Enjoy. Okay, so this is the backwater swamp. It looks like we're going to be going against a clown. So what do I know? Looking at the icons on the left side, we know that there's going to be an obsession, aka somebody running decides to strike or the killer has saved the best for last or a perk like Nemesis. All those obsession types perks. What else do I know? I know that a Claudette ran over there doing a generator over there. I don't know where the Felix is, so I'm going to assume that the Felix is hopefully doing a generator. I opened this chest and I got a purple blue box out of it. I know that the killer is over there and the Fangman is being chased. So I'm going to run to the middle and try to get some pressure over here. The Fangman could barely hold the gen or hold the loop for more than like 10 seconds, but that's all right. Because the Claudette was over there doing the generator, the Fangman brought the killer to the Claudette and which forced the Claudette to get off the generator. Let's test if the killer has the ruin. No, he doesn't. Or else the generator would have started to progress and we would have gotten a hex totem notification on the right side of our screen. Let's see what happens next. By the way, I am duo queuing. That Fangman is one of my friends who's duo queuing with me, but we are not on comms. And he knows that I'm over here because of barbecue and chili and decided to eat a bottle. I'm going to go to this jungle gym over here. There's actually a boat. I'm just going to run through and then run this way. I'm going to see what happens. He is deciding to follow. Never mind. Confused. He doesn't know where I went. Alright, so you see what I could have done? I could have kept running and then left more scratch marks. But instead, I just started walking. I'm going to crouch in this grass hoping that he won't see me. He kicked that gen with Pop Goes the Weasel. So now we know he has Barbecue and Chili and Pop Goes the Weasel. as his two perks. He doesn't have Corrupt because the gen over there was not blocked by the entity. So I'm going to rule that out. And we have the Fangman who's healed over here. Okay, that's good. We haven't done a gen yet, which is still alright. But hopefully the Felix is getting something done. We know that the killer is bringing... So the survivor is bringing the killer over here. He doesn't really care because there's still five gens that needs to be done and he's already got a hug. The Clada is the obsession and we see the tentacles moving so we know that she is being chased. She's down. We did this generator halfway a little bit with the Fangman but it's alright she had to leave. The killer smart he would hook her over here or in the basement that's even better. And he's going to come here and hit this generator with pop. We got two generators done. Wow. He's going to be coming here with pop. So hopefully one of my teammates can come here and notice that this gen is almost done. I'm trying to hit great skill checks as much as I can. But he's going to hit this gen with pop first. I just know it. Never mind. He's choosing not to. I'm going to greet that. Yeah, I'm going to greet this generator because I'd rather him lose three gens. Other than just two. And then hit this with pop. It was a good play by my teammate dropping the pallet down so that she wouldn't go down so quick. The killer is proxy camping so I suggest we split apart over here. I'm going to get on this gen because this gen is on the ground and that gen is up there. If you want that gen to be done you need to teammates. What's going on? I'm going to come from the back end. If you want to get to that gen the killer has to wait time going around and then up. Alright I'm going to stay over here. Crouched. We have this amazing perk called Kindred. I do have bar time so my teammate can take a hit. The clown has eaten a lot of McDonald's so he is not... What is he doing? Why did he go back down there? Anyways, I gave my teammate some bar time hits. And I did leave a bunch of scratch marks so there's that. I know my two teammates are going to be doing a generator over here, so I'm just going to leave him. The clown is up there got doing god knows what, but I'm going to let him see me. I'm going to run around here. He doesn't want to chase me. I'm going to guess that he's going to be looking for the Felix. Hopefully the clown doesn't go for my teammates over there doing the generator. Never mind, I have the attention on me. I'm going to be coming on this generator over here. He hit me. I'm just going to drop it. I think that I'm going to double back. Psych, I'm not. I'm actually just going to run around. I'm going to hit this again. I'm just going to vault it! Okay, thank you for not hitting me through that. I'm going to start to come over here. I know that my teammate looped around the... Where's he coming from? Why would you do that? I don't understand, but okay. I'm going to be coming around doing that. I'm going to come over here. Run around the smoke. Never mind, I failed. Break that. 
There we go. He is breaking that. I am very slow right now, but I'm going to run to this jungle gym over here or this pallet. Fishing Babbit to kill his movement. Never mind. He's a little bit farther. I'm going to keep running. Look at how much time he's wasting right now. Not only did he lose his generator, he's also refilling his bottles. This was a bad play by me. I shouldn't have wasted my time just admiring him, I guess. I'm going to take an M1. Never mind. Dukes are real. Because he threw that bottle, he's not going to be able to get an M1 over here. He did throw the bottle at me, though. I'm going to be running on this side. Hopefully, there's a pallet over there. Never mind. I missed the pallet. All the gens are done. He can't find me. There's a... There's a gate over there and there. I'm going to run to the big boat. And because they did the generator over here, I'm going to start running on this side. But I'm not just going to send it just yet. I can't tell if the killer has no it or not. I'm just going to drop it because I don't want to take any chances. I'm going to continue looping around here. He's He wants to break that. All right, let him to it. More props to you, bud. I'm going to be running on this side. He's going to break through. Never mind, he's not. I'm going to be going around the whole section. Look at how much time he wasted by just chasing me. He lost two generators. And I'm pretty sure my teammates are getting the gate all the way over there open right now. So I'm going to be getting to run on this side. There we go. We see one teammate over here. That's the Felix. The other two survivors are MIA. The Fangman is being chased. And we know that because of her scream. Don't open it, just 99 the gate, there we go. We 99 gates to combat Blood Warden, which is a perk that blocks the which which is a perk that blocks the gate at the end. So the entity blocks the gate, aka preventing the survivors from exiting. Which is bad. Because my friend and I are not on comms, I am running the perk called Kindred, which let me which lets me see the auras of all survivors. I'm not gonna vault that so that he knows that I'm over here. He's gonna try to pop some bottles. I'm not gonna let him. He threw a bottle. Nope. He wants to come for the M1. He missed. Never mind. He's not going to scare me. He keeps he keeps wanting to throw bottles. I'm going to scare him. One of us needs to just send it. The cloud had sent it. Everybody run to the gates. Run to the gates. We know that the cloud makes it out because she 99 the gate. And I'm pretty sure that the Felix is going to be taking a hit. Keep running. Keep running, Claudette. Open the gate. Open the gate. Open the gate. Why didn't you open the gate, Fang Min? I'm not exiting. He wants to push us out. I'm not going to let that happen. Never mind. He got flashlight saved. I wasn't looking. But that's all right. We got everyone out. Thank God the Felix flashlight saved. Claudette, you need to the boat. You need to be the one that needs to get out. Anyways, that will be a GG well played for the clown. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed, leave a like and subscribe because it helps me out a lot. This style of video was inspired by Fungus, who was a Dead by Daylight streamer and made these educational survivor games. And I thought I'd try to do something similar and teach others my thought process of playing Dead by Daylight. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Peace.